I got a Heathkit Hero 1 robot. Yeah, but it's Snow Hero 2000. Ooh. Hey man, what's that thing on top of your robot? Well, we got some more goodies from uh, robotworkshop.com. And uh, what we have today is we're going to be doing some more upgrades on Hero. Uh, we got the Hero 1 basic ROM and uh, a USB interface. Um, you can do two types of interfaces with Hero. Uh, you can use the USB or the serial. Uh, we're gonna go modern and go with the USB, but either one will work. Uh, I guess the goal of these, uh, this will allow you to use your PC um, to communicate with Hero and give him basic commands. See, either you know you can store a whole lot a basic program that you've created or or you could have him just do functions one at a time just send him commands to do uh, you're essentially using like almost uh, from what I've read here it's like a hyper terminal and you can communicate back and forth with him uh, to do certain functions he's the hero robots doing the the computer work your PCs just kind of giving you an easy way to communicate and to transfer files over to Hero, or not files, but a, a basic uh, computer language, that and that that's described in these uh, documentation here. And as I learn this stuff, I will get a little bit better. But I'm just starting, uh, so my focus is getting the hardware in. And once I get all the hardware in, then um, I'll start learning how to do those commands, sending it back and forth, and having uh, Hero do things. So back off of Hero. Um, and I'll start with the easiest install and that's the USB interface and it it's installs essentially the same way that the serial interface installs so we'll go to the top of hero you know, right on right on his head here and um, you have these row of uh, connectors here on and he has a cons corresponding row of headers on there and they're gonna go just like that uh, so just pop them in. I might need two hands to do this. So there we go. And voila, done. <laughs> so that's all you need to do to install the USB interface. Uh, there's some settings on here. Uh, we'll go over this later. Once I start testing this, and this is for the different baud rates, and I have it set at 111, the dip switch here, the little guide here to tell you what those dip settings are for whatever your PC is communicating with uh, the baud rate. So that's the easy part, USB installed. <laughs> now the second part is installing the ROM chip, and if you watched previous uh, videos, we had, a, we had a memory expansion board installed in him, so we're going to put uh, have this uh, ROM chip installed on the memory extension board and uh, I'm not going to go over how to take that out again you can watch previous video but um, I think what I'm going to do is just pop out that board that I had just previously installed and then place the ROM chip in there and uh, I'll show you how to do that once I get this apart and have the board just sitting down on the table it's really that part should be easy to pop out so. <laughs> All right, so I got the uh, memory expansion board out of the robot, and uh, you'll, like I said, you'll definitely need this. Um, this is the uh, ET18-6 memory expansion accessory, um, and this was already pre-built for me. Uh, I guess Robert over there at the uh, robot workshop. So I don't, ha I didn't really have to worry about any of the jumper settings. That was all pre-done for me. Uh, however, there's a little diagram in the back of the manual that comes with the, uh, the basic ROM chip. So we're going to install this basic ROM chip on this board. Uh, there's also a utility ROM that's available. I don't actually have that. It goes here. Uh, and the, the basic chip will go over into this slot, which is uh, U107. I checked the jumper settings and they were already correctly set. Um, to the proper settings uh, to accept this um, the basic chip the hero basic chip and uh, the number is 444319 um, 
So setting this in there is pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and pop that out. Make sure you're grounded. Um, and one thing to note is, as you, as you see the auto mode, how it's set back. So there's two pins up here that aren't connected to anything. So you want to have that same deal here. Um, so making sure that your pin one, this little indentation, is matching up with that pin one. Uh, but that's not pin one here, you'll have these two spaces here. So it's actually going, I guess technically, the they say the third position down. Uh, so you want to set that down like that. Uh, so you have two empties and the rest populated like that. And uh, I'll go ahead and pop that in. Just push it right down in the socket. Um, the jumper settings are already pre-done. Um, I, you know, I suggest paying a little extra cash and have it done for you. You know, it's not that much more to have this built for you and and tested than you know building it yourself. But if you want to build it yourself, you know, save a couple bucks by all means. In that case, you'd have to make sure you have these jumper settings correct. Uh, and that's just making sure that. Uh, you know, J121 is in the B location, uh, and also these jumpers here. You know, this is the setup. It's ready to go, plugged in, and um, this should be all this to it. And I'll pop this back in the roll-up. test to see if he's blown up is to turn him on and if he says ready I'm ready ah he said I'm ready <laughs> he's ready to roll and I uh, failed to mention that you do need the version uh, 1.3 or 1.0 to 1.3 to make sure this works uh, I make sure you have the 1.3 the latest and the greatest uh, so we're ready to hook this guy up to the PC to see if uh, the system works so I have hero Connect it up to my Windows 10 computer here. Um, the USB out, Hero Power is on, and I have the USB plugged into the computer, and the USB uh, device popped up as, that's ah, a little out of focus, USB serial converter. Um, it's amazing! You can use Hyper Terminal, uh, but this is Windows 10. Um, I don't know how to use Hyper Terminal on Windows 10. Um, so I, I always kind of use TerraTerm. It's a program, it's free. Uh, but the manual, the manual for um, the basic recommended other Hyper Terminals, um, yeah, whatever, which ones you're comfortable with. Um, so we'll go ahead and I opened up the TerraTerm. We're gonna call it Serial. Um, when I when I plugged it into the USB, it identified itself as a USB to serial port, it, and it located itself on the COM10. Uh, so I hit COM10. Uh, the drivers auto installed, so I didn't really have to go out and download anything. Um, I mean, other than Terra Term, but I've used that in the past. I use it for a lot of things at work. So hit OK. So then we need to set up the uh, serial port. Um, I have the dip switch settings for a, a baud rate of 9600. Um, Hero requires a 7-bit, none, 1-bit, no flow control. And they also recommend a, or he also recommends a 50 millisecond um, delay. So we got this all set up. Um, and so now we're going to test it. Uh, we got Hero on, powered up. Ready. He's ready to go. So on Hero, I'm going to type um, 1DA000. And haha, -ha, look at that. We've come up with it, as you can see, uh, what came up on the screen. I don't know if you can see it from the video camera, but it's the uh, Wintech Hero One Basic Version Zero Five. Um, so that's kind of cool. It, it, that means that the um, the basic chip is working, and 
the USB is working and it is talking through the hyperlink or in this yeah hyperlink terror term whatever program you use and uh, that's actually pretty cool um, and this is pretty much where I'm gonna stop and I just verify that the robots now talking and we can communicate with it we can probably write some commands and but I got some learning to do so I'm gonna read through this manual and uh, figure out how to do some basic programming and um, it should be pretty cool um, and if you buy this kit from uh, Robert over there at the robotworkshop.com um, he'll hook you up with some programs too that you can play with and maybe change up um, I haven't gone through that yet but um, I just want to confirm that the hardware is up and running and soon we'll be getting the software <laughs> up and running um, so before Hero just takes a, a run off my workbench, I will stop here and um, we'll expand this on the next uh, videos that I should be releasing soon. So we'll see you then. Say goodbye, Hero. He's ready.